Hey guys, it's AJYT Abbott here, and this video is sponsored once again by my Letterboxd account. I use Letterboxd to rank movies, list movies, uh, tell people what I think about them. You can even see recent reviews, like my review for Godzilla Minus One, The Bike Riders, A Quiet Place Day One, and of course the topic of today's review, Kinds of Kindness. So do yourself a favor and get the Letterboxd app today, I'm actually not fully sponsored obviously by Litterbox. I need to put that in there or else they'll sue me, but uh, enjoy the review. <laughs> Kinds of Kindness was directed by Yorgos Lanthimos and was released in theaters last weekend. The film has an absolutely stacked cast including Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, Jesse Plemons, Margaret Qualley, Hong Shao, uh, Hunter Schaefer. I mean, there's just loads of great talent in here. Uh, there's also two other people I think in the movie. I, I, I'm blanking on the one guy's name, and I know one of them, I, I, I would fuck up the name. So I'm not going to say it. Uh, I'm sorry. But they all do good here. We have great performances. We have a great director in Yorgos, who, of course, just directed Poor Things last year, which uh, did a great job at the Oscars, got quite a few awards there. And, of course, with the, with the most popular one being Emma Stone's win for Best Actress as Bella Baxter. Now, we have a movie that is actually kind of an anthology piece. It's almost th it's three short films pretty much tied together by one singular thing that's the same in each one. There are three different stories here. You have a story about a man that is, you know, basically pushed to do whatever his boss wants him to do. Willem Dafoe's character tells Jesse Plemons to do whatever, and he does it. And when he finally gets sick of it, Jesse gets out of Willem Dafoe's life. But then he kind of finds that he needs to Willem Dafoe in his life to tell him what to do, and his life starts to crumble. And it goes crazy. This movie goes crazy at multiple points. Uh, then you have the second story where Jesse Plemons' character... Uh, finds out that Emma Stone, his wife, is back after she's been missing for quite some time after a supposed drowning, and he thinks that she's not acting right, so things go wrong there as he kind of starts to fall apart, and he's, you know, distrustful of her, and he's doing all sorts of, just, I mean, there's no need to sugarcoat it, fucked up shit. <laughs> uh, and then you have the third story, which involves this cult, um, led by Willem Dafoe and Hong Chow, and they have Emma Stone and Jesse Plemons going out to try and find this chosen one who can have, uh, who has a certain power that they need. So, I'm really going to only do spoilers for this review, guys. This is a movie that is very, very out there. It's weird. It's crazy. There's a lot of stuff happening. And not a lot of things I can say can really shy away from spoilers other than the main critiques of the film. So... Uh, if we're going to get into plot details, I need to make this a, a full spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Kinds of Kindness, you need to get out of the review. Um, so you have, of course, this large batch of actors and actresses that are really great at what they do. They all put in very strong performances. And they play separate characters, so don't mind me if I just name them by the actor or actress. There's a lot of names in this movie. So I really enjoy the structure of the movie. You have these, these little stories that go by in like 50 plus 55 so or so minutes, uh, or, or even less than that, like 45 to 50 minute long stories, and they are just strange as can be. There is loads of insane stuff in this movie. There is obviously a cult, there's cannibalism, there are dogs that are swapping places with people, which is described in a dream by Emma Stone's character in the second story. Some particular laugh-out-loud moments for me were... Uh, the start of the second story where Jesse Plemons invites uh, Margaret Qualley and uh, her husband uh, character to come over for dinner or whatever. And he's kind of sad because this is the story about his wife that he thinks is drowned and, you know, they're, they're looking for her but they haven't found her. And uh, they're like, you know, we can watch this video to cheer you up. And I'm like, what is this going to be? And it turns out to be a video of them having a foursome. <laughs> I I just lost my mind. <laughs> I lost it. I completely broke. I lost it. I oh dude, this movie makes me break at like every turn. This movie is just full of just nonstop surprises. And honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff. Um, I believe his name is is R R M F or S M F. Sorry, I believe it's R M F. Uh, and it's this guy in the in the first story. Jesse Plemons is told to kill him by Willem Dafoe, and he does that by the end of that story. Then the second story, he is the helicopter pilot that finds Emma Stone's character for Jesse Plemons. 
Then in the third story, he is this dead guy that Emma Stone and Jesse Plemons are trying to get the chosen one to bring back to life because they try it out with Hunter Schaefer's character at the start, and she fails to do it. So they're like, all right, she's not the chosen one. And they find the chosen one in Margot Qualley's character. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a, a baffling experience because you have this cult that's a, it's a sex cult and Emma Stone's character, she's trying, she's trying to find this chosen one. Okay. And it, it's really screwed up. Okay. So she goes to see her husband, her strange husband and her kid, the husband rapes her. And I was pissed off at that. I was like, wow, this guy's a piece of shit. And he needs to die. He doesn't die. Uh, but she does uh, end up getting the chosen one. So I guess it's it's a win in the end. But it's, it's still really screwed up. Because the cult kicks her out for being contaminated. Because they have this weird tradition where if someone if they think someone is, is unfaithful to the cult. Because they're only allowed to have sex with the people in the cult. Then they are put in a sauna where they're sweating. And then they pass out and they take them out. And then Hong Chao licks them. And determines whether they're contaminated or not. Promise, I'm not making this shit up. This is, this is stuff that is just way out of the box. And that's what Yorgos Lanthimos is best at, man. He really is. That and working with Emma Stone. Because he already has another movie planned. Where he's working with Emma Stone and Jesse Plemons. So I guess Emma Stone is just his in for like any movie. People are like, yeah, Emma Stone, I'm watching it. Because that's what I'm going to do. I love Emma Stone. And she gets this little victory dance out in the parking lot when she finds the chosen one. It's really awesome, um, even though the circumstances are fucking dark, because the the chosen one's twin sister kills herself in order for the prophecy to go through. Because like only the chosen one would have this twin sister that killed herself. So then the twin sister was like, "All right, I'll make this easy on you," and she kills herself. And that's how Emma Stone was like, "Oh, okay, this must be the chosen one then." Uh, it's it's a crazy movie, and it would take me forever to explain what the hell is happening in this in this movie. But uh, long story short, it's not a good day to be the chosen one because on the way back to the cult, Emma Stone's really happy. Uh, but the the chosen one starts waking up, and Emma Stone kind of looks at her to c try and comfort her a little bit, and she gets into an accident, and the chosen one is thrown through the windshield and killed. <laughs> And that's the end. That's that's how the film ends. And then there's an after credits or or mid credit scene or whatever, where the RMF guy is eating. Uh, cause the chosen one brings him back to life. He's eating and then he gets ketchup on his shirt, and and that that's where that ends. I don't I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what explanation you guys want from me here, cause I don't have one. So on that I'm gonna leave this movie review here. I give it an 8 out of 10. I know this has been a totally inconspicuous review. You guys don't know have, have any idea of what the hell is happening. But look, I give it an 8 out of 10. Alright? Unless you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. You know the process, how it's weird. Okay? It's creative. It's imaginative. It's weird. It's crazy. And no, not a lot of stuff is, is explained. But you know what? Sometimes the movies that don't make sense are the movies that I really love <laughs> like it, it, I, I can't explain it but just to, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the review i'm sorry this was all every which way but this is your ghost land the most film okay if you've seen poor things you know how this is gonna go it's, it's a crazy crazy time uh but let me know if you've seen kinds of kindness what you thought of the movie <laughs> down in the comments below if you haven't seen it i'm sure you're confused as hell and want to go see it just to see what the heck i'm talking about so go out and see it. Support Yogurt Slime the most because he makes some crazy films. Go support the amazing cast. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been AJYT Abbott, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.